What was the worst job that you've ever had, like before your grown up job? Before. Um, the worst job I ever had was probably bagging groceries for Smith's Grocery Store, which is now owned by, I think, Kroger and Fry's. But yeah, I was a, I was a courtesy clerk when I was 15. <laughs> well, I think you take on the traits of the five people that you hang out with the most. And that doesn't mean that you have to be next to them or in the same room as them, right? You can take on those traits by listening to them, reading what they put out, and I really subscribe to that. And so, and I believe in coaching, obviously. I've got a coach at the gym, I've got a nutrition coach, I've got my, my business coach for here, I've got, you know, for lack of a better term, like a life coach, our team, somebody comes in and helps coach our team. So I, I really believe in coaching and the coaching that I follow is not just people who say they're a coach. These are people who are living it, breathing it, and doing it, right? Um, I would never see a doctor that's overweight and smokes, right? I'm not gonna take health advice from somebody that doesn't practice what they preach. So I'm not gonna take advice from a coach that's not implementing and doing what they do. So like my business coach, they're running a real estate team. They're in a different part of the country, they're highly successful, and they're doing the same thing that they're telling me to do. So I have a lot more respect for that. Um, so I don't think I could survive without having that proper coaching and guidance. Um, it's just, it's invaluable. I think it would probably be something in, in health and wellness. There was a period of time where I was thinking about getting out of real estate, which not a lot of people know. Um, it was before I started my team. Um, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to stay in real estate. I was kind of disillusioned at the time. And thanks to a coach, Lizzie, um, I started Myriad Real Estate Group and she guided me. But for a brief minute, I considered getting into health and wellness and some sort of, um, whether that had to be, whether that was in nutrition or, or just something along those lines, I would guess. Obviously working out is fun uh, for me. Um, and I think for me, the reason that I enjoy working out is it's a sense of community. It is the most fun. Uh, I do CrossFit, but I'm not one of those people that just only talks about CrossFit. Like, how do you know someone does CrossFit? They tell you within the first five minutes of meeting you, right? It's my sense of community. Um, and so I really, really enjoy that. And I have major FOMO if I don't go. Like, what do they talk about? Like, what do they do? And I wasn't there. I love hiking. Uh, my wife and I also love traveling. Um, she loves doing research and planning trips, and so if we don't have something on the horizon, she gets stir-crazy, so she does a great job of finding walking food tours, um, and it's a really awesome way to experience a city or a place and go to kind of off-the-beaten-path locations, so if you don't do walking food tours, I highly recommend it. One food that you could eat for the rest of your life, every single day, what would it be? Sushi. Yeah. I mean, that's a type of food. Yeah, I feel like you cheated there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest reward for me is, is really helping, this is going to sound super lame, but helping our clients when they close on their home and they reach that goal of home ownership. That is the, my favorite part of this job. It's why I do what I do and enjoy it so much. It's because I know what owning a home has done for me personally and being able to express that and share that and help others achieve that is so rewarding. Mm -hmm.